is Joe DeFeo. I'm the vice president of the company. And I'm here to tell you the two-minute warning, the High Loon two-minute warning. Today we're going to talk about stencil pianos. A stencil piano is basically a piano that is not made in the factory that is represented by the uh, logo on the front of the piano. In other words, this piano says High Loon in the front. The High Loon piano is made in a High Loon factory with High Loon parts by High Loon workers sourced with parts that they make. So the piano is a real honest to God brand. Some piano companies contract out the pianos. We, of course, uh, won't mention any names, but names that you're all familiar with, some of those pianos are not made in the factory that has that name on the front. And again, these are called stencil pianos. And what they are is pianos that are contract built and uh, put uh, together with the specs from the company, sometimes to a high degree and sometimes not so much. But one of the biggest problems with a stencil piano is that it does not have a factory backing it. In other words, some of the stencil pianos actually have switched manufacturers. They are built in one place one time, in one place at another. Sometimes the specs change and the parts are not available. When you get a piano which is not a stencil piano, most of those problems are eliminated. I'll give you an example. The Highland piano has a 15-year transferable warranty on it. The odds are very, very high that 15 years from now there's going to be a Highland factory, a Highland piano, because there's a Mr. Highland Chen and his family owns and runs the piano company. If you look at their factory, it says High Loon on the front. It doesn't say a name that does not match High Loon. Again, companies will have these pianos made for them. And if the company decides not to make those pianos for them anymore, they have to switch suppliers, which may change the specs, which may change the availability of parts, which will certainly affect your warranty. So the, the situation you have to, when you walk into a store, if I was to do it, I would say, where is that piano source? I recognize the name, but where is the piano source from? Do they build their own pianos? Is this a stencil piano? I don't know what you're talking about. And who would honor the warranty should they change manufacturers? Uh, is, do they have a, I want to see a picture of the factory. Show me a picture of their factory with that, uh, with that uh, name on the front of the, uh, of the building. If they can't do that, it's a, it's, um, uh, it's a stencil piano. And all the pitfalls that go along with stencil pianos uh, could fall into place. Uh, one other thing is that uh, you have to watch, watch out for, um, uh, with stencil pianos, is false connections. What's a false connection? They will tell you that the piano has a history of uh, going back to uh, 1800, 1700, whatever. The first thing you ask them is, what is the direct connection from the pianos that were built in the 1700s or 1800s to this piano? And the answer will be absolutely none. Uh, you have to watch out for that. So, in all, in all essence, when you go into a store and you're looking for a piano, don't just look at the name. Look at who makes it, where it comes from, and who's going to honor that warranty. One quick thing. I've been doing this a long time, about 55 years. In any case, the two-minute warning, we'll see you next time. Joe DeFeo here.